please come forward and state your name and address for the record. Tara Parker, 4911 Timberwood Drive, Ohio, Georgia, 31632. These lovely people have said a lot of what needed to be said, so I'm not going to regurgitate it. I thank the people who reached out to me after I came a couple of weeks ago. The only difference in where we are now and where we want to be is those who are willing to work. So I really appreciate the people who are willing to work. Um, anyone else who wants to reach out, I'd love to share. I am not some, I am some hillbilly, hey, hire a housewife. But there are professionals who have come to your shelter, to our taxpayer dollar shelter, who are professionals who came for free, who gave reports. I don't know how many of you guys, I know at least one, have seen it, but they are the professionals and they said, extend your adoption hours. They have said, work with your volunteers. Don't run them off. They said, coordinate with nonprofits. They say, utilize free social media. They say, post the animals when you find them, when you're available for adoption. That. Have adoption events outside of the shelter. And the idea is asinine that we cannot make improvements unless and until we spend five or ten million dollars on a building. The building is not the problem. It is not your problem. Your problem is in a lack of policies, a lack of procedures, and maybe some people. But your building's not your problem. So to spend five or ten million dollars, that's like me giving my 16-year-old a Mercedes Benz and saying, now I bet you'll listen. Now I bet you'll obey the speed limit. That's asinine. Don't take it from me. Don't take it from these people who are volunteering, donating, paying our taxes. Take it from the people who have came and told you and given you a list in black and white and reports of the best practices. And again, I'll say it again. We don't have to volunteer. We don't have to rescue. We don't have to save animals who aren't born. I'm thankful that somebody wrote that grant. I don't know who wrote the grant because I've been told before, Lowes County doesn't have time to write for grants. Whomever is making the $700,000 a year, those people can write grants. Whomever is making the $700,000 a year, those people can do the best practices. They can learn how to take animals out in playgroups because an adoptable animal has to have socialization. We do not have a specific high volume number of animals who are specifically dangerous. But we euthanize a really high volume of animals claiming they're dangerous. I'm not going to take up the last two minutes. I'm just going to say, if you will use an ounce of prevention, if instead of five to $10 million building and then you're going to make changes, then you're going to change policy, why don't you put some of that toward preventing it? I vote we have a smaller shelter. If you have a bigger shelter, it's going to cost more money. Build a big shelter. Put a thousand animals in it. What happens the day we have a thousand and one? It just costs more money. For the love of whatever, let's prevent it. Let's prevent unwanted animals. I get calls every day. People saying, help me feed these animals. Help me get them spayed and neutered. Help, and I help them not come to you so that they're not burdens for you. I do that. These people do that. Help us. We're trying to help you. Valdosta, whatever this is. We love this place, so let's make it better for animals. It's embarrassing. It's frustrating.